How to plan a bake sale. Organizing a bake sale is an excellent way to raise money, especially for charity, or something new your community needs money for. Bake sales are easy to organize, easy on the pocket, and fun to do. With nothing more than small team of people, a dedication to a good cause, and some planning and baking, you can have a successful bake sale of your own. Getting started. Have a cause. Most bake sales are for raising money for a charity or cause. Be sure you and your customers understand who or what you are raising money for. Have posters or other advertising materials. It may help to make pamphlets or other media presentations available to explain your charity. This is a great opportunity to promote your cause, too. Put out a jar for tips or donations. If you are raising money for a cause, give people the opportunity to donate without buying. Some people may not be hungry, or cannot buy sweets due to dietary restrictions, but they still might want to support your organization. Make sure you know how to send your profits to your charity. Put out a jar for tips or donations. If you are raising money for a cause, give people the opportunity to donate without buying. Some people may not be hungry, or cannot buy sweets due to dietary restrictions, but they still might want to support your organization. Make sure you know how to send your profits to your charity. Make your team. Get your friends and family to help. If this is a fundraiser for a school, get the students involved. Let the kids have the option of participating in the fundraiser by baking goods with their parents to sell in the bake sale, and give them appropriate responsibilities. Make clear what the cause is, when the bake sale is, and have reasonable shifts available. How many volunteers you will need will depend on the size of your proposed bake sale. A small bake sale may be easily handled by one experienced volunteer. However, a large bake sale may need several people to coordinate helping customers, the cash box, setting up and taking down, and baking. You might want to make one person in charge of organizing the volunteer bakers, one person in charge of renting the venue and the equipment needed, and one person in charge of publicizing the event. Make clear what the cause is, when the bake sale is, and have reasonable shifts available. How many volunteers you will need will depend on the size of your proposed bake sale. A small bake sale may be easily handled by one experienced volunteer. However, a large bake sale may need several people to coordinate helping customers, the cash box, setting up and taking down, and baking. You might want to make one person in charge of organizing the volunteer bakers, one person in charge of renting the venue and the equipment needed, and one person in charge of publicizing the event. Decide on a venue. Generally, you want to be in a high traffic area. For instance, have your bake sale at a well-frequented public spot or in a school or college. If the bake sale is for your school, ask the student union, administration, or other appropriate staff for possible venues on the school grounds. Sometimes retail stores will be happy to have a booth set up nearby. Community events, such as festivals and special events like street fairs, outdoor public concerts, and other big public events are all excellent choices. At schools, plays, concerts, open houses, sporting events, parent nights are excellent bake sale opportunities. Make sure that it is legal to hold at the spot you choose, and get permission from the appropriate authorities, if applicable. Be sure you have a rain site to do the bake sale indoors or under a tent in case the weather turns sour. Sometimes retail stores will be happy to have a booth set up nearby. Community events, such as festivals and special events like street fairs, outdoor public concerts, and other big public events are all excellent choices. At schools, plays, concerts, open houses, sporting events, parent nights are excellent bake sale opportunities. Make sure that it is legal to hold at the spot you choose, and get permission from the appropriate authorities, if applicable. Be sure you have a rain site to do the bake sale indoors or under a tent in case the weather turns sour. Get all the equipment you need. You may be lucky and have a table and chairs available already and a sign made up already especially if this is a yearly event. But if you do not, you will need to plan ahead. You may need, booths or tabliscard tables or folding tablets some sort of awning, like a pop-up pavilion or gazebo to protect from rain or suntable cloths. Decide on the time. The best way to ensure a large number of potential customers at your bake sale is to have it coincide with another event. Or, if your bake sale is for your school, make sure you have it during a time when the greatest number of parents and kids can attend, such as a weekday evening. Some ideas for events to place your bake sale near include, elections, PTA events, school games, and community events. You will also want to make sure your date is in the sweet spot between being so soon that not enough people hear about and so far that people forget about it somewhere around two weeks from when you announce it should work. You will also want to make sure your date is in the sweet spot between being so soon that not enough people hear about and so far that people forget about it. Somewhere around two weeks from when you announce it should work.